<laughs> This liquid really made my day. <laughs> What is inflammation, actually? So, inflammation helps our body to heal wounds. Dimas! Yeah, what? You gotta read this! What? Inflammation? It just appeared on my FYP, you know? TikTok? Yeah, TikTok. Well, what did TikTok tell about inflammation? TikTok said that inflammation helps our body to heal wounds. Wow, that's fascinating. But it's really made me confused. What's making me confused? Because if inflammation helps our body to heal wounds, why do people make an anti for it? There's an anti for it? Yes. Well, why don't you just search on Google or perhaps YouTube for further information? Nice idea. Honorable judges of Indonesian Science Project Olympiad and below male and female audience. My name is Faiz Rehan Rashad and my name is Dimas Anandik. We are representatives from SMA Ulan Rush as the finalists of the Indonesian Science Project Olympiad. Do you guys know that Indonesia has approximately 30,000 plant species and 9,600 plant species are known to have medical properties? Unfortunately, there's only around 200 plant species that are used as raw materials for traditional medicine industries. And sausage plants, or also known as Gigelia africana, are one of the plant species that have medical properties. Anti-inflammatory is a medicine used for inflammation that occurs in an injury. Inflammation in injury is the first step of healing process by allowing the injured tissue to recover. In general, People use synthetic drugs, that is widespread in the market, which can cause many side effects. Therefore, research on the effectiveness of sausage plant leaf extract as the anti-inflammatory ointment need to be investigated to reduce the side effect. The purpose of this study is to find the impact of sausage plant leaf extract as the inflammatory for wounds. The first step in the study is first we took the Gigelia africana leaf from its tree and then we dried it in the oven for a day at 40 degrees Celsius. And after that, we took the dried leaf from the oven and then we blend it using a blender until it becomes really smooth. After the leaf becomes really smooth, we put it in a baker glass and pour methanol on 96% concentration into it and covered the baker glass using an aluminum foil. After we covered the baker glass with aluminum foil, we kept it in a closed room that has no sunlight that could shine the aluminum foil or the jar or the baker glass. After we kept it for a night in the closed room, we filtered the extract by using the help of vacuum pump and moisture powder with a filter plug on top of it. After we filtered the extract, we put the extract into a rotary evaporator for about 30 minutes at 50 Celsius. After no more ethanol evaporate from the rotary, we can move the extract into a bowl and heat it using sprinkles. After the extract looks concentrated, we can mix it using Vaseline to make the ointment. After the ointment is ready, we move on to our main study. The first thing we did that we met our mice in their cage. And after that, we marked the mice according to their reputation. After we marked the mice, we shaped their hair using a fit in order to make it easier for us to observe the one with. After the mice already have an open space in their back, we create a wound in their back. Then we measure it using vernier calipers. After that, we heal the mice according to their group. Group A using 100 mg concentration, group B with 200 mg concentration, group C with 300 mg concentration, 
positive control, we use betadine, and the negative control, we use aquades. We repeat the process up till 7 days. We collect all the data and analyze it using one-way ANOVA. We test homogeneities and normalities as well. And the test results are normal. Data is homogeneous and normal if the homogeneities and normalities test result show a significance value of more than 0.05. Based on our study, we could solve our research question, which is the first cantilip extract of sausage plant be utilized as an anti-inflammatory. The second is, is there any impact of sausage plant leaf extract on injury? The last one is, which concentration of sausage plant leaf extract is effective as an anti-inflammatory? In summary, sausage plant leaf can be utilized as an anti-inflammatory. Based on analysis, the most effective concentration as an anti-inflammatory is the 100 mg concentration. In the end, anti-inflammation works as catalyst that speed up inflammation process. And anti-inflammation also teach us that anything that is too much is dangerous. It is indeed true that inflammation helps our body to heal wounds, but if it happens for a long time, it could be a disease for humans. I am Dino Samarizik and I am Vice Rehan Rashad. That's, That's the end of our presentation. A monkey selling a pie. It presses a button to open the gateway. I promise it's not a goodbye. I will see you again someday. Bye bye! Mm. So inflammation is good, but if we had it too much, it can be dangerous. Yeah, I guess yes. Maybe that's why people make an anti for it, right? To prevent the explosion of inflammation. Ah, I see. I can see it clearly now. By the way, I'm hungry. Let's grab a food on canteen. I bet. Let's go. Let's go.